OK, so you want to show text in the values area of a pivot table. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how to do this with the standard pivot table using measures. And that was quite complex, but a lot of people found it useful. We now have two new functions, group by and pivot by, which make this whole process much simpler. So here's a screen grab of the pivot table I created in the original video. And you can see that within each region, I've listed the sales reps that have sold products within each of these product categories. So we're going to create exactly this using these new functions. So the first thing I would do is I'd put my data in a table. So click somewhere in it, control T on the keyboard. And I'll just call this table sales. Now I'm going to start my formula up here in H1 equals, and there are two functions I could use here. I could use group by or pivot by. Now pivot by you would want to use if you want row headings in your report and column headings. Here I only really want row headings. So I can get away with using group by. Now, the row headings in my report are going to be the region subdivided by product category. So I need to select two fields for my row fields. And to do that, I use H stack. Now, array one is going to be the region column. So I place my mouse pointer over that heading within my table, click once. That selects all of the data in that column, but not the column heading. I want to include the column heading, so I click again, comma. Then I want product category, so I click in that column heading and then click again to include the column heading. Close the bracket, and that's my road fields argument completed. Comma, values, well, that's going to be the sales rep field, so I click in that column heading and then click again to include the column heading, comma. And then the function I want to use is array to text, comma. Now field headings I do want to include, so yes and show, comma. I don't want to show totals, so in the total depth argument, I'm going to select no totals. And those are all the arguments I need to use. So I close the bracket and press enter. So it's created the report, but there is an issue with the report. And that is that names are appearing more than once. Now to get around that, I need to change the function I'm using. At the moment, I'm using array to text. Now I'm actually going to change that to Lambda. And this will allow me to extract the unique items. Now in the first argument, I'm going to give a name to the field that I want to do the calculation on. Now the field I'm doing the calculation on is the sales rep field. So I'll just call it SR sales rep comma. And then we're going to use array to text again, but to extract the unique values, I'm going to use the unique function and I'm extracting unique values from the sales rep column, which I've called SR. I close the bracket for unique and then for array to text and for Lambda, press enter. And you can see now I only have unique names in each of these rows. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.